Hi, and in today's Monday motivational message, I want to share with you a message I'd learned from one of my mentors, Jim Rohn, who explained we've got two choices. Each of us have got two distinct choices to make about what we're going to do with our lives, according to Jim Rohn. The first choice we can make is to be less than the capacity we have. To earn less, to have less, to read less, to think less, to try less, to be less disciplined in ourselves. And Jim Rohn said these choices lead to an empty life. These are the choices that once you've made them lead to a life of constant worry and apprehension as opposed to a life of what he calls wondrous anticipation. So what's the second choice? Well, it's to do it all, to become all that we possibly can be, to read every book, to listen to every podcast, to earn as much as we possibly can, to give, to share as much as we possibly can, to strive and produce and accomplish as much as we possibly can. So all of us have got that choice, to do or not to do, to be or not to be, to be all or to be less, to be nothing at all. Like a tree, it would be a worthy challenge for for us to stretch upward and outward to the full measure of our capabilities. Why not do all we can, every moment that we can, and be the best for as long as we can? Our ultimate life objective should be to create as much of our talent and ability as we can. And that's the message that Jim Rohn taught me many years ago. He said to settle for doing less than we could is to fail at the worthiest of all undertakings. So how do you measure how you're going? And I believe it's to do with your results. They're the best measurement of your progress. Not conversation, not explanation, not what's on Instagram or Facebook or your post, not justification. The best way to measure how you're going is your results. And if your results are less than your potential suggests they should be, then you better strive to become more today than you were yesterday. The greatest rewards are always reserved for those who bring the greatest value to themselves and to the world around them as a result of who they are and what they've become. That's my motivational message for this week as we work through the challenging times the world is bringing us.